All right, we've got Mike Peterson here. If you have a question for him, raise your hand, I'll call on you. Spencer Nussbaum, we'll start with you, go ahead. Hey coach, can you just uh, give us your overall thoughts on the game? Yeah, for the first time since uh, halftime of the first Chicago game, uh, we, we didn't have the right energy. You know what I mean? This has been a team that has played with just phenomenal energy since halftime of that first Chicago game, right? So the second half of the Chicago game, the four wins, the four quarters uh, on Friday, we played really hard. We used to play well, we turned the ball over too much. Tonight, they, they brought the fight to us and, and our energy wasn't right. We, we got a little jolt of adrenaline for a minute uh, but then didn't sustain it very well. Give them credit. You know, they were the aggressor and uh, uh, we, we just didn't, we didn't respond uh, quite the way we needed to. Emmanuel Glaze, go ahead. So was there anything coach that made you believe that that, that energy wasn't going to be there today or was it just, no. uh, no, just I was, they just I, up more aggressive or? I, I was as surprised as you were, Emmanuel. Uh, <laughs> No, no. I, I mean, I, we, you know, we had, we did what every team does on this kind of a road trip. We watched film, we had a walk through, we got some shots up yesterday uh, to rest our legs so we could be fresh and have good energy. The, the shoot around today was good. Pre-game was good. Uh, you know, again, it's not uh, at all by way of excuse. You know, it just, this is a team that has not had that problem. Okay. And tonight we had that problem. So I'm going to assume it's a one-off and uh, we're going to move on, fly home, practice, get ready to play a really good Seattle team. Kim Doss, go ahead. Um, Ari had another good game offensively, uh, problem with fouls defensively. What do you see as her biggest thing to work on right now while she's seeing these minutes with Kennedy out? Yeah, mostly just getting comfortable. Right. Uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, a lot of learning to play at any new level, you know, whether you're going from high school to college, college to the pros, whatever. Right. It is getting comfortable uh, and she's getting more comfortable. She's got to get comfortable with her teammates. You know, she's again, this is a team. I said this from the very beginning. This is a team that's going to be a lot better in August than it is in May and June, you know, uh, I'm disappointed with our two losses, but the fact that we've played as well as we have and we're four and four right now, you know, I'm disappointed that we didn't win tonight, but overall this group's done pretty well. Uh, and uh, she just needs to continue to get more comfortable with her teammates. All the moving parts need to come together for her, but Ari doesn't usually disappoint with energy. Like I thought her energy was really good tonight the whole time. Uh, and, and you could see that when she first came in, in the, uh, in the first half, we immediately got a little jolt. Uh, and, and some of that was her, some of that was the group she was with, but a lot of it was her. And so that's, that's a really good thing. Jamila Johnson, go ahead. Hey coach, uh, this might kind of refer to your earlier comment about the energy, but we saw some differences in the substitutions and the, um, the rotations a little bit. And we saw Shakina a little bit out there. Was that because you were trying to look for some energy? Yeah, and, and I'm just, I'm trying to, again, the, the rotations are going to change as the, as the season goes along, okay? And, um, you know, I'm trying to find good minutes for Strick. Strick's a good player, okay? And so, you know, we, we came into the game saying, you know, we're going to find minutes for Strick at the four tonight. And I thought she did a nice job. You know, she really did. And so that was part of it. But part of it was exactly, you know, what you said trying to find combinations that could give us that energy. And I thought Strick did. I thought she came off the bench and did a really good job. And again, she, you know, she didn't make a shot, but her minutes were good. You know what I mean? We functioned well when she was out there. And so her, she gave us really good energy, really good minutes tonight, I thought. You carry Thomas, go ahead. Hi, Coach. I know this wasn't the ending that you wanted, but could you just speak on the areas that they need to, the team needs to improve on? Yeah, well, we, we, weren't, very, we weren't very good with the ball on this trip. We give up 25 points off turnovers on Friday, and we give up 26 points off turnovers tonight. And, and coming into this trip, we were only giving up 14 a game. And so, you know, we, we've got to have better ball security. And, and again, credit to Minnesota. I, I thought they 
did a nice job of taking away driving lanes. I thought they were very physical at the point of our DHOs and our ball screens. And so it's not like they didn't force some of them, but at the end of the day, I thought some of it was self-inflicted by us. We've got to be stronger with the ball because again, you just, it's not surprising that they scored as many points as they did when they had 25 and 26 off turnovers. It, it, you turn the ball over guard to guard, it's pretty hard to defend it because it usually leads to a run out or a quick kick to a three. And last question, we'll go back to Spencer, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, I just kind of want to follow up on something you said about rotations. Uh, I noticed you had Diane and Strick out there for a while at the same time. Um, is that something you plan to return to? And if so, what do you like about that lineup? It, it's got five people that can shoot, right? Strick can shoot it, Cheyenne can shoot it. And, and, and frankly, that was, you know, part of the purpose of doing it tonight because their bigs were just caught, especially still, Sean a little bit. They were just clogging the lane on us. And so we went to that group to see if we could spread the floor out a little bit. Cheyenne went in, banged two threes, right? And when Strick was in there, they were chasing around. And so part of the reason we were a little bit better offensively when those two were out there is we had a little more space to play in, a little more room for Tiff and Court and Airy to kind of drive the ball and either score or kick. So, yeah, that's for sure a lineup we like. I mean, uh, you know, Tiana's a good shooter. And so uh, Mo and E give us something different when they're in there than those three. But those three provide some spacing. Uh, and as Cheyenne gets, uh, you know, a little better shape and gets her feel for the game back a little bit. And I thought she was really good tonight. Uh, one of the encouraging things of tonight is the way Cheyenne looked. Competed good, made a post move and finished, hit a couple threes. And so, uh, you know, we can carry that forward as uh, some encouragement for sure. All right, thanks coach. Yeah, thank you. All right, we've got Cheyenne Parker here. If you have a question for her, raise your hand, I'll call on you. Emmanuel Glaze, we'll start with you, go ahead. So Cheyenne, how you doing? What, what do you feel you're at right now? Your first two games of the season, getting it in there and playing this weekend. What do you feel you're at right now? You, if you had to put a percentage by, you feel like you're about 75 percent, 50 percent. What do you feel like your game is at right now? Um. Yeah, not definitely not 75. I'm probably like 60, 65. Just getting um, getting reacclimated. You know, just getting up and down. I literally was cleared and hopped on the bus for a game like I didn't even get to practice yet <clears throat> so it's um, it's definitely been tough just trying to adjust to the game tempo um, but I mean I know eventually it'll come you know I'm staying trying to stay patient with myself not get too frustrated Spencer Nassam go ahead yes yeah, Ryan um, I know it obviously wasn't the outcome you wanted but I wanted to ask specifically about the minutes with you and Strick out there um, Coach Peterson said he's definitely going back to that lineup at some point this season. Uh, can you just talk to us about, you know, what that does for Atlanta out on the floor with you and her out there? Yeah, she um, she brings a lot of attention just being the sharpshooter that she is. So it was really nice to play um, alongside her. Just, you know, as soon as she got in the game, they were so focused on her, got me an open three. So it was nice um, just to, you know, spread, spread the defense and try to get some nice open looks for, for each other. Rafi Gluson, go ahead. Although the team kind of played poorly defensively, you there were a lot of contributions yeah. from the bench, bench, including yourself. Like, how proud of you of the way that the bench contributed to tonight's game? Definitely proud of the bench. The bench, you know, we're, we're the uh, core of the team right now. Just the way we come in and bring that spark. You know, we started real, real, real bad today. Um, so it was real important for the bench to come in and make make some um, some <clears throat> some noise, you know, um, just defensively and offensively, just be a spark. And that, that's what we kind of pride ourselves off of when we huddle up before tip off. Is, is you know, is be ready to get in there and do what we got to do to spark spark up the, the game. All right, thanks so much, CP.